Okay guys, so in a previous video, I showed you how to lay your base layer of thread down for the basic clouser. Today, I want to show you how to tie the half and half, which is half deceiver. half clouser. You can take your feathers and tie them in on one side. That section's tied in. You take your feathers and you're going to trim off the excess. I'm using three, you can use two, it'll do the same thing. And try to get them as even as you can. Tie them in on both sides. Nip off the ends. Now you have your feathers tied in. Go up to the eye. Get one of your trusty little dumbbell eyes. Take that and tie it in behind the eye. Just like you do your basic clouser. X wrap. Figure eight. Still, you're tying in your dumbbell eye on the bottom of the hook. This hook rides hook up. For sake of time, I'm not going to put any super glue on the eye, but you're going to want to, or on the dumbbell eye, you're going to want to put super glue on the bottom wraps of that dumbbell eye. What that'll do is that'll soak into the thread wraps. and make it bond with the hook. I'm doing a red and white. Again, you want to trim your bucktail off at an angle. Some of it may come loose. So I just trim it off again. Go 
go back to where I started my original. Generally happens when you have too much bucktail. Behind the eye. Couple wraps. Flip it over. Get your red. Trim it up. Clean it up a little bit. Pull out any excess. Tighten your wraps down. And when you're done, you can clean it up with a with a lighter. And take your whip finish tool. Again, you're going to make a figure four. Take your wraps. This adds durability to your fly. Down. Cut it off. Once you're done with that, add a little bit of super glue or zap a gap. I like to use the Loon UV clear finish in a thin or a thick. I'm not going to use that right now, but as you can see. That is your finished half and half. A rather nice picture of it. Thank you.